Steve and I are over in the shop and we're working on a, um, a Honda and it collapsed on the rear discs. So we wanted to show you a procedure on how to collapse the rear discs uh, in your car if you don't have the special tool to uh, collapse the rear brakes that have a special disc that you rotate in. Uh, we'll show you how to get around it if you don't have this tool. We'll show you the tool in, this tool in a second. Alright, so we got some vice grips on here, pinching this thing down. And we're going to rotate this piston in. And I'm not sure if it goes counterclockwise or clockwise. We're going to start. And usually you'll go one way and you'll feel the piston going in. And then you'll have to tighten your vice grips. You got to be really careful not to pinch the boots in here. So. Let's see if we're going the right way. Just a little bit of pressure from the. From the. Uh, looks like we're going the right way. Just a little bit of pressure from the vice grips is gonna help you push the thing in as you're rotating. Now I do have a tool to do this. I have to be honest with you, I, I find it easier to do it this way. So um, I'm gonna rotate this thing in and it feels like it's bottomed right there. So, so that's, that's about it. And I just use these two tools to do it. And there is a caliper tool that you know Mac makes and all the tool manufacturers make, and I just kind of think this is a little simpler for me to use it. So that's the route I go. So the caliper on the rear of this 2000 Honda Civic has the pocket brake built into it, so you have to uh, put pressure on the piston and rotate it at the same time to depress it. And this tool does that. And this tool will fit inside the caliper and push up against on the ears. And then you hold this, and as you tighten this down. It, it'll twist whatever size that you have to put on this. And our piston on this one has a solid groove. So the groove would be in here. This locks onto it. And then as you tighten this down, this is pushing against the ears and this is just pushing the caliper piston in. Um, you know, I, I, I use it, you know what I mean? But I just kind of find it a little easier to use the method that we just showed you. Um, but this tool is not stupid money and it is a great tool. Um, sometimes accessibility of getting it in there is, can be difficult. So I just find the procedure we use, I use most of the time. If I'm really stuck, then I, I go back to this method. So we, we realize like a lot of you guys are at home and you're fixing the brakes on your cars at home. So we wanted to show you this procedure if you don't have that tool and how to kind of get around it a little bit. Right, Steve? Yep. And that, this procedure is on a rear caliper that has the parking brake cable built into it and that's why you have to rotate the piston in to get it to collapse.